Hi everybody, welcome to a new segment here. This is called Community Question. Now this is going to be a bi-weekly segment and it is going to offshoot with our top 10, top 5 list. The reason is, I think if we just kept on doing top 5's all the time it would get boring after a while. But also, I wanted to find a way to engage with the community more. Where we can take a segment and do it live maybe a couple times or just do it and put it out there so you guys can answer the questions in the comments and of course get my opinion here right when I ask the question. This week's question is has your outlook on dungeon crawls changed with all the different types of dungeon crawls out there? Now for me <clears throat> Starting back in the old days, and a lot of you out there are around my age, you will attest that the benchmark for a dungeon crawl was basically playing D&D, &D, where you had somebody controlling the dungeon, and where if you had a bad DM, it ruined the experience for you. Now, then came the Warhammer quest, the hero quest, where... They, you still needed a dungeon master, but everything was preset for them. And really, their luck came down to a roll of a dice a lot of times. Where, where being a Monty Hall or somebody that's uh, uh, just too hard on people, or maybe he doesn't like somebody in the group and will be kind of hard on them being a dungeon master, that couldn't happen. All their job was is to control the monsters and and the flow and and give information to the party <clears throat> and that was always the problem with Dungeons and Dragons you had to rely on that particular person but nowadays with these self-contained uh, dungeon crawls where you have apps that will run things or maybe they're a lot more cooperative like Massive Darkness or partially uh, the uh, the co-op uh, part of Dungeon Saga or Descent, um, these ty or, or even Shadows of Brimstone, if we really think about it, you have you have a really unique experience where you're playing against the game itself. Does that take away or does it add? Now, for me, I found that. Playing Dungeons and Dragons and, and, and then playing Hero Quest after that and then Warhammer Quest because that's where kind of the line was drawn. Now they had plenty of video games, but I'm talking about a, a board game experience where you interact with other, other people. I found that, that Warhammer Quest was the benchmark for me. But then when the first edition of Descent came around and I got wind of that, I was very intrigued by that and we had a wonderful time with it but we always found ourselves wanting more and and keeping that the Warhammer quest was still the benchmark and that nobody would ever come close <clears throat> but then came Dungeon Saga and 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 then the second edition of Descent where it kind of enriched the experience and they started coming out with even more expansions and it had that D and D feel to it. And let's 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 throw in there Shadows of Brimstone, which which was a home run. Swords and Sorcery. All these fantastic games where you can either do it co op or you can have somebody play as the monsters. Maybe they you know you, you, and you can control more than one figure. Did it enhance the experience? For me it did. But I found that I wanted to stay true to my roots, which was Warhammer Quest. So when they came out with the newer Warhammer Quest, I prayed that, that it would have the same elements, where I, I can have that D&D &D feel, and yet, and yet um, have that board game feel in the same instance, where I can take my characters and go with them. Um, Gloomhaven did 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 this so wonderfully, where where you're taking and you're 
you're growing your character and you're moving along with it and how I, I that gave me that D&D &D experience I wanted but now what I really wanted was the visuals the models um, using your imagination is always probably the best thing that you can ever do but having these models which brought the theme out more made you feel more pulled in by it now of course, as you knew, the later editions of D&D &D allow where you can build your own dungeons. But what I'm trying to say is on a board game level, what were the things that made you want, want to really say, you know something, this really kills some of these games because I have all this experience, the, the, all the experience I'm looking for in one box and a bunch of expansions. And even card games have, have tried to mimic this kind of experience, you know, such as the Pathfinder, which I thought did a good job, but I just never felt it, it, it hit home. I think the thing that really hit home for me, that really gave me everything, was Dungeon Saga. Dungeon Saga, as you guys know, I really do care about, but of course, as we've stated with the, with the company and, and some of the issues that we've had with it, has been very disappointing and and yet rewarding in in the same instance um, <clears throat> where you're able to create and do different things and create your own experiences like the old Warhammer quest and and yet the 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 um, quests that they provide were so well thought out well play you, you would play them and just have a wonderful experience and you could play it with a dungeon master or you can play it cooperatively cooperatively with a bunch of people and go through the experience in one evening which i always felt was such a home run and and some of them you can get through in an hour and a half to an hour and maybe even go even further on to the next adventure tallying up your gold, buying certain rewards, pushing, you know, trading different equipment. Nowadays, they, they, they tend to really, really try to capture that old D&D &D feel. And that's what I really like. The thing that always, like I had said, when they came out with the new Warhammer quest, was unfortunately that was completely opposite what these other games are trying to achieve. It seems like the other games are trying to achieve that Hero Quest Warhammer Quest feel, and yet Warhammer Quest was trying to get away from Warhammer Quest. That's the way I see it, at least. I really enjoy what they're doing, and I, I and one game that I am looking forward to that hopefully comes out soon. And Roger Daring, I hope you hear me, is a game called Dungeon Crusade. Uh, it kickstarted uh, a few years ago, <clears throat> and he has been passionately working on this to give you a game that's probably going to weigh about 30 pounds. If you have a chance, look it up on Kickstarter. Uh, he has an active area where you can actually uh, still get in and purchase some of the games. But this has been, this is a guy who if you go to his YouTube site he had all the things that helped him and inspired him to make this particular dungeon crawl and I really feel that this particular dungeon crawl can really change the way we think about dungeon crawls how everything is just so well thought out and there's just so much story and he just wants to build on this enriching experience because he has seen for 30 years how all these games have grown to where they're at, to, to this insurmountable um, point where you, ha you can have your pick of different type of dungeon experiences, whether it's Old West Cthulhu feel, or space, uh, sp space crawls, or, or just simple fantasy calls. We have so much at our hands now. So, even though I still have a passion for the old stuff, we are really in a time where we're just about at that point where somebody's just going to do something breakthrough. And I hope this Dungeon Crusade is that thing. Now, you guys may not agree with what I say. You may think, 
or have a different opinion on this I would love to hear from you in the comments and as always please let us know what you think we put it up for discussion and we'll talk about it extensively in the chat and I always try to answer every um, question so like I said do you agree maybe you don't agree maybe you think I'm out of my gourd could be there's only one way to find out and that's to let me know and see if you like this segment let me know if you think this is something interesting and even pose in the next question you never know we just might pick it so until next time I'm Rob Warren we'll see you soon